So we'll go ahead and uh, start to write out the um, the code in just a moment. Now, now we've outlined our functions uh, and we know what we're doing inside uh, this file here. Uh, we want to go ahead and actually send the request to the file. So um, first of all, when a user enters, we want to put the username or send the username over to uh, users.php. So we use a .post HTTP request or a post HTTP request, sorry. And this will take two parameters. We're not going to have a callback function because we uh, we don't we're not required to actually call back any data. Uh, so we need two parameters. Uh, you notice I've used curly brackets here. This is for the uh, variables that we're sending, and this here is the file we're sending to. So users.php is inside. Let's just take a look. Is inside a, a directory called PHP. Uh, this is my directory. We've got index.php here and we have PHP folder here and users it is inside there so we're sending this to PHP forward slash users dot PHP and the variables we're sending and we're sending two different variables the first one is the user name which is equal to user underscore name remember if you've looked at a post request before this is the variable name we pick up in PHP and this is the value we're giving it ie this here uh, the second variable is the action and in this case, uh, the action is join or joined, we'll say. Okay, so now that we've done that, what this is going to do is it's going to send the username to users.php uh, with the action joined, and we want this to be placed into the database. So, quite simple, let's just go ahead to users.php uh, and we'll start to write this out. So, the first thing we want to do is say if is set dollar underscore post user underscore name. And we also want to check for dollar underscore post action. So in ext.js, we've sent username called username and action uh, that has the value joined. Uh, so that's username and action. So if these are both are both set, i.e., have they both been passed to this page? Uh, we want to go ahead and uh, register the user. Uh, the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do though is just set this into a variable or set these two into variables uh, so the first one is user underscore name and that's equal to dollar underscore post user underscore name and the second is action which is dollar underscore post action so let's just go ahead and tab these over and uh, not there tab that over there Okay, now you'll notice that I'm not sanitizing username. I'm not performing any, uh, you know, HTML entities function on it or the MySQL real escape string function on it because our, our uh, functions are going to handle that for us. Uh, and the reason for that is we would always use MySQL real escape string or any other sanitization inside of a function before we place it in the database. Uh, and this just means that if we reuse the function, we don't need to sanitize the data, i.e. username before we send it to the function. Uh, so that's just a, a little tip there as well. Okay, so after we've retrieved the username and the action, we want to check uh, the action. Uh, obviously, we're passing three different potential actions to this users.php file. We're either passing joined here, list here, or left here. Uh, so we want to pick up on this action variable. So I'm going to say if action is equal to joined, in this case, this is the only one we have yet. Uh, we want to go ahead and we want to call the user joined function and we want to pass the user name to it. So we've outlined user joined up here and now we've called the function once the action is equal to joined. Now just a quick note, the reason I'm using functions is simply because uh, it keeps it tidy at the top of the page uh, and then we can just call the function down here instead of all the code that uh, is going to go in here being down here, it can be kept up the top. So the uh, once the user has joined, we uh, call or the action joined has been sent. We call the user joined function. So let's go ahead and fill in what we need to write in user joined. So the first thing to do, like I said, is to sanitize the data. So I'm going to re um, reset some data into this username variable, uh, and this is going to be uh, just user underscore name. So this is a new variable, or we're rewriting the existing variable with this value going into here and we want to go ahead and uh, perform some sanitization so mysql real escape string that will somewhat protect against sql injection and html entities uh, 
will mean that um, we convert HTML entities to uh, well we convert HTML scripting or tags or anything to uh, entities uh, just so it's not displayed as HTML and it's displayed as uh, formatted text as just normal text so now we want to go ahead and place this name inside of the database so let's go ahead and use MySQL query function inside here we want to insert into uh, let's go ahead and look at our table so we can reference our field names so insert into users so users and that's values and the value there's only one which is user name so now this is this will actually be working uh, let's just go over what we've done already so when the user enters they enter their name this is sent in the form of the variable username to users.php here with the action joined inside users.php we pick up on the fact that the action equals joined which we've checked for and we've reassigned into a variable called action if the action does equal join we call the user join function and what this does is it uh, sanitizes the data and then places this name into the database table so let's go ahead and browse our database table you'll see that there's no uh, records there mysql returned an empty result set when i refresh the page i have the option to enter my name so now the process starts so i'm going to go ahead and type in alex and press enter obviously we don't have any data related to the screen because uh, we haven't started actually retrieving the list of data yet or the list of names but when we browse our database table you can see that my username has been placed inside 